How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Go, go. Okay, this is an update on Victoria Ramos. Go T. Eris. This is the woman about, remember I was telling you about the woman whose uh, um, department was set on fire and stuff. And she was in the inside and found the body and stuff. Well, a man has been charged with a transgender woman setting the house on fire. And it's about a, um, can I read this thing that's going on on the date of January the 16th, which is basically, uh, I guess yesterday because it is 17th. A man is charged with also a murder in connection of the death of a transgender woman who died after she was stabbed at her and her home was set on fire in the Pico Union Authority says on Tuesday. Now, I guess it's not Tuesday, I mean today, but anyway. Came Kevin Ramis, 29 years old, accusing, accused killing of Victoria Ramos. Victoria, I'm just going to Victoria, doing the attempted first degree robbery according to Los Angeles County District Attorney Office. He admitted to stabbing her and initially setting the house on fire, officials said. Um, I'm sure said in, in a news release. One law enforcement said Vicky well loved in the local LGBTQ community doing a news conference Tuesday, which attended by a transgender advocacy council in Los Angeles mayor office in Los Angeles LGBTQ center. She was found dead inside the apartment complex caught fire last week and officials later said that her death was maybe suspicious. The fire happened on the 1700 block of New Hampshire Avenue at around 3.15 a.m. As we continue to seek justice for Vicky and as we do for other victims in the city of Los Angeles, we are still asking public health, said Beatrice and Los Angeles Pizza Department lies on to the LGBTQ community. We know that. There are people out there who may probably encounter this suspect who may be fearful and anxious. She said, we ask them with open arms to please come forward. The criminal charges against Kevin include allegations that he personally used a deadly and dangerous weapon, a knife during the attempted robbery, officials said. He faces a maximum sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole or the death penalty. So they found him and stuff, and basically, what time was it again? 3 a.m. in the morning. He was there. Mm -mm. And, um, killed her, stabbed her and stuff, attempted robbery and stuff. So, I just wanted to do this update and stuff. 3 a.m. in the morning. I don't, I don't want to speculate anything. But, I'm assuming that he met, she met him online. Let me just read up here for a second. Um, set on fire, Rimmer's robbery. She met stabbing her. Rimmer's met, he met her online. Yep. Met online. Yep. I always tell you. People, please hear what I'm saying. When you are trans, gay too. It, it goes to anybody. But when you're trans, I tell you this a thousand times. If you listen. People already watching you. You don't see them, but they watch you. Now, I don't know how long ago he's been watching her and talking online, but he's been watching before online. He got enough temp to contact her, to go over there, to kill her. And I'm sure he did way more than that. But her body was burnt up. So, I don't know if they do a DNA test as far as sex or whatever the case may be. They didn't say sex. But he stabbed her. Went over there. Tried to burn up the evidence. 
which was not successful, thank God, for a robbery. And I guarantee you, it's more than a robbery. I guarantee it's more than that. We used to know how these stories go. But he didn't use the excuse he didn't know. Anyway, I just wanted to do this update and stuff on Vicky. Rest in peace, Vicky, and the family and my prayers. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel. And also, you can follow me on Instagram. That's Raven underscore over. You follow me, I'll follow you back. Please be safe out there. Love you.